Um, and this person is represented by the King of Wands, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, but that this is just energy we're looking at. Where this person is right now, um, Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands, exploring their options, getting a lot of attention from others, uh, whether that's in career or romantically, but that's what I'm getting. They, they have a lot of opportunities in front of them, um, and they're trying to grasp them all. Um, but they also could be traveling. We do have Sagittarius, the Voyager, but very playful, carefree energy um, coming from them. Quite active as an individual, but a very flighty here and there. Sagittarius can sometimes represent scattered energy and seven of cups six of pentacles talks about illusions but also someone who's spreading themselves too thin um, that is what I'm getting from their overall energy but let's look at your physical compatibility we have Saturn wisdom six of swords king of wands um for intimacy, it's almost as if there's a blockage here. Uh, there is, they are very, very sexually drawn towards you, Virgo. But with Six of Swords, they, they try to remain a bit detached and aloof from what they're feeling. Um, but yeah, the King of Wands does want to get off his throne and run towards you. Or at least throw himself at you. Like this is intense, um, intense w um, passion that they feel for you. But for some reason, they're not acting on that passion um, with Saturn. Um, they're, it's almost they're trying to follow their logic over their heart or their passions. Um, it could be that you're off limits for this person somehow with Saturn or there's outer circumstances getting in the way but yes this person is trying to be wise about this situation or if the if it, you can take this how it resonates it could be you that's holding yourself back because you know this person is trouble who this person is intellectually we have Gemini the butterfly three of wands justice In justice is usually when I describe that it's someone who's very forthright, fair, someone of high integrity. But looking at where their energy is at right now, I'm seeing with three of wands, I'm getting a different meaning because Gemini is all over the place as well. I'm getting someone who, um, it's almost that mentality where grass is greener on the other side. So they're weighing their options and they're seeing what they can get from each one of those options. Um, very selfish and this person is only focused on how they can get their needs met. Um, it's a, they are their own first priority and they will do whatever. King of Wands is usually a very self-focused this person has a lot of power. They're usually quite attractive. They have many admirers and they can really manipulate a crowd. That's the type of energy. He doesn't have to be king of wands, doesn't always have to be negative. But in love readings, I, from my personal experience, he's usually trouble. Um, for your intellectual compatibility, we have Neptune, Dream, Sixth House, Craft, Eight of Wands, High Priestess, Four of Pentacles. Well, one person doesn't, there's blockages here in communication. One person holds back too much. Um, they really restrict what they say and when they say it could be this person because they're coming across as very strategic here with justice. And Three of Wands, that's someone who's strategizing and planning. This person is very charming with their words as well with Gemini. They know what to say. And how to charm another to do what they want them to do. That sort of energy. Very manipulative. 
yes this person holds back a lot and with neptune dreams it could be that when they do communicate it's very vague we had deception for your advice if someone or something is not quite what it seems your perception of the person or situation could be off track or things are being deliberately hidden so i'm not sure if your perception is off about this person i think you know what is going on but i am getting that this person deliberately hides things with that high priestess and four of pentacles a very secretive energy so perhaps if this person's blocked communications or they're not speaking you're um, also doing your own thing you're not very bothered and that's the type of energy who this person is emotionally we have uranus revolution two of cups devil <laughs> they're the devil emotionally so uranus is very careless energy as well it's um unexpected but also i feel this person gets involved they have a bit of a cycle um th that they're repeating is they get involved in a lot of toxic um connections and then they're very obsessive um, emotionally uh, they they're careless and when or they their karma if we look at their karma is usually that it's hard for them to get over if they're a player they that is what i'm getting this person's a player but then really this comes back to bite them because they are the ones who's left obsessing over the other person a very weird energy i don't know strange um for your emotional compatibility we have it could have been that when um you started out with this person things were very um flirty uh, very playful you really enjoyed each other's company but with a five of cups six of cups there you're emotionally compatible but there's there's restrictions here and this person holds back quite a bit and i think things haven't um because of this person's in and out behavior there's a lot of disappointment here with five of cups six of cups that talks about really um reminiscing on the old times you had together and just the memories you two shared but it could be right now that this person's very business focused and they're but this is a shared mutual energy so it could be that you're both missing each other to some extent but this could have been a third party as well with the lover coming out that usually shows up when there's more than one person involved and this person has multiple people in their energy your current compatibility we have ninth house seeking nine of swords knight of wands knight of swords if you're currently dealing with this person, they're they'll they're giving you a lot of sleepless nights. Um, this is uh, anxiety, staying up at night, just r repeatedly. It's a cycle going on here. Um, but this person, <laughs> it's still ninth house, knight of wands, knight of swords. A lot of uh, they're still knights. So again a lot of that in and out behavior one minute they're communicating another minute they're not um one minute they're showing interest another minute they're off in another direction it's very chaotic this person's chaotic we have ninth house uranus sagittarius i don't think they know what they want and they almost have a short attention span so they can't um remain in one place for too long it's a bit of a Peter Pan syndrome, this very immature energy. Um, for your potential outcome, lovers, this person needs to make a decision. If this is a third party, um, there is a strong physical connection here, but this person ultimately may end up uh, choosing mind over heart, is what I'm getting with that Ace of Swords. And then there's the separation, Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. I think you are represented here by the Queen of Swords. This is someone who's very cold and detached um, because of all this pain that perhaps this person put you through. So you will close off eventually um, with the Pluto Sun. I think it's 
it, this combination almost talks about a glow up. So someone really stepping into their power, um, very self-assured and powerful energy coming through here. So um, yes, things are a bit difficult here right now, but they're headed towards um, Three of Swords. Queen of Swords isn't the most positive um, energy for an outcome. But at least it's someone that's seen clearly and someone who's cut through any illusions. So clarity of mind is, I think, quite positive for an outcome. Sun is illumination. So whatever deception this person um, has going on, we also had the unknown. So a recent event may have surprised or confused you. Something will be revealed to you soon to help you understand the universe works in mysterious ways. So yes, if there is something this person's holding back here, um, it will be out in the open soon with that sun. And I think that will really help you. It's almost as if you will be changing your mindset and how you view this person. So if you're putting them up on a pedestal with Pluto, um, that will be really stripping this person bare where you can really see who they truly are, um, if that makes sense. Um, for your astrological cards we have mercury square saturn so we have strict serious irresponsible intimidation criticism fault finding immature yeah so mercury square saturn mercury is you virgo it rules virgo and gemini and saturn was showing up in this person's energy so uh, this person can be verbally abusive virgo and they could at times try to intimidate you um very trying to criticize we also have fault finding, um, usually in sinistry, Saturn belittles Mercury. Um, Mercury is usually very free-flowing, carefree, fun energy, and Saturn always uh, wants to put a bit of a, a wet blanket over uh, Mercury's um, playful vibes. I don't like this person. I, I really don't. They're very negative. And then we have Venus square Uranus. You know what it is? We have this person likes to be free with that Uranus in their emotions. They want to have the right to do whatever they want. But with your cards here, Mercury square Saturn, Saturn wants to control Mercury. So I think there's a lot of issues in the way you communicate with each other because uh, almost one of you uh, is scared of being judged or belittled by the other. There's a lack of respect here in some regards. And then we have Venus square Uranus, so love at first sight, on again, off again, lack of commitment, unexpected, erratic, Uranus unavailable, your reading's really tying in together. So this is in Sinistry. Uh, Uranus is very unreliable energy, so when Venus is craving for affection or wanting some sort of emotional expression, uh, Uranus is never available. Uh, Uranus comes to Venus representing you when it wants to, on its own terms. So you see a very selfish person. Uh, I don't like this individual. Now at the bottom of the deck, we have three of seven of swords, two of wands, three of cups. So strong third party here, but this person could want to, um, if you're not on talking terms, they could want a reunion or want to come back but if this is resonating I would suggest um, keeping your distance um, from this individual and if you do offer your cup of love I see them taking what you have um, to offer them and then they're headed in a different direction because knight of cups isn't coming towards the queen of cups the queen of cups is offering her cup to the knight of cups who's moving forward away from the queen of cups so yes virgo very selfish person but really do follow your intuition in regards to this but that is all i have for you really take care of yourself and i will see you later bye